Hello, it's the IT guys here. Welcome back to Microsoft Word 2013. So this is the eighth tutorial in this series, and today we're looking at tables. So, as the title suggests, we're going to be creating a school timetable. First, to insert our table, we come to the Insert tab in the ribbon. Then we click Select Table. Now we can either highlight the table that we want, like this, or you can click Insert Table. Now I'm going to have six columns and six rows. And I'm going to click OK. Okay, I'm going to insert our headings. So along the top, I'm going to have the day. And down the left hand side, I'm going to insert the lesson. There we go. If I want to delete this table, I select the table by clicking this here. Right click and click delete table. I'll bring it back again. If you want to add another row to your table, Select a cell in the bottom row, come to the layout part of your table, and click insert below or above. And that will insert a row above or below that row. To delete a row in your table, select the row, right click, delete cells. I'm going to delete the entire row. And click OK. To insert a column, Select a cell in the last column, come to the Layout tab, and insert one to the right or to the left. And that will insert a new column. To delete the column, have a cell in that column selected, right click, click Delete Cells, delete entire column, and that will delete it for you. To resize a set of columns, drag the last column out, then click Distribute Columns, and that will resize the table so they're all the same width. To make the table taller, drag out the last row and click Distribute Rows, and then it will distribute them more evenly. We are now going to have a look at the Design tab. So come across to the Design tab, and we're now going to apply formatting to our table to make it look nicer and make it easier to read. The first thing we're going to do is you can choose from either these options or if you click the arrow there's a series of extra options to choose from. I'm going to choose this last option here. The options that appear will vary depending on your theme. If I wanted to have the formatting of the first row or the header row to be the same as the rest of the table, you can tick or untick the checkbox that says header row. Similarly, if I want to have the first column to have the same formatting as the rest of the table, I can check or uncheck the first column. I'm now going to format the borders. If I wanted to insert borders in here, I come across to here, pick a border, I've got the colour set, and then I'm going to select all borders, and I'll now put borders in between each of the cells. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our layout tab. If we wanted to have two cells merged together, we highlight two cells, come to merge cells, and click on it, and they'll now act as one cell. To unmerge the cells, we highlight, we'll have our, that cell selected, and click Split Cells. And it will come up with a dialog box with how many you want it to split into. Click OK, and it will be back to normal. Currently, if I type in these cells something like this, if it is in the top left-hand corner of the cell, if I want to make it in the centre, Highlight all of the cells, come across to Alignment, and select Align at Centre. And now the text will all be in the centre. We can apply it to the whole table, like this. Finally, we can change the text direction. Highlight the table, 
click text direction and it will rotate the text. Finally, if you have text in your document and you want to convert it into a table so it's easier to read, I've set mine out with commas between where I want each row to be. You can do it using tabs or other methods. Highlight the selected text, come to insert, table, and click convert text to table. It will give you the option for the number of columns and number of rows, and then click OK. I've chosen got mine selected as commas, but if you have got tabs between your text, click tabs, paragraphs, etc. Click OK, and it will now create a table from that text. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. But for now, goodbye.